Show number two, let's talk about it. So for my first two shows and all leading up to it, all of my workouts were done at home or if I went out to a gym, I used only equipment that I had at home. So let's talk about the equipment I had. I had a squat rack, I had an incline bench and a pull-up bar. So a pull-up bar, I had like one that attaches to like your door frame um, and a few dumbbells, like three or four pairs. So super minimal equipment. And if you want uh, suggestions on that, if you're looking to develop your home gym or um, yeah, looking to have a very simple a gym setup, then let me know. I am, would love to answer any of your questions, but the results that I got were using minimal equipment and definitely uh, tuning into my nutrition and fine tuning that. So super simple and no ab stuff, like so no crunches, none of that stuff. Um, so I wanted to show you the results you're able to get with minimal equipment um, nothing fancy, uh, just super simple, and then that you can get abs without crunches. Um, so what crunches do, and this is just like a little side note, we'll, we'll talk about the show here, um, but a little side note about, about abs, because I get a lot of questions about abs, is crunches and uh, things like that um, do target your ab muscles so they can help develop the muscle that's there, but it's not actually going to get rid of the fat that's covering the muscle. So what I was able to do is, yeah, I didn't build my ab muscles a lot because I didn't do like any ab exercises, although you do use your abs for bracing for things like squats, which I was doing, um, but no targeted ab exercises. So I didn't build the ab muscles, but what I did, <clears throat> so it's like five o'clock in the morning and my, my voice is still like, what are you doing talking at this time? We normally don't talk until six. So, um, so I didn't build my muscles, but I did get rid of the fat that was on top of the muscle. So you're able to see the underlying muscles. So if you, if you think about someone who might be like pretty overweight, um, you might not see a lot of the uh, like shoulder definition, for example. Uh, but then as they start losing weight, you might see like that they, that they have some shape from the muscle underneath instead of just being kind of like a, just a blob of an arm. They now have like some more definition and more shaping going on. So same thing with your abs. So if you have some adipose tissue or some fat, uh, lying on the surface, it might just kind of look like a blob, but as you get rid of your uh, adipose tissue that's lying on top of the muscle, you get to see the muscle underneath and how the muscle is shaped is like that six pack look, which some people don't have six, some people are as asymmetric, some people have eight. So you're just able to see how the muscle uh, the shape of the actual muscle underneath. So that's how you get abs is just get leaner. Um, but then if you want to see more uh, of the muscle, then you need to do, uh, you need to train the muscle, which is not what I did for this show. So the results that I got were results of just getting rid of the fat, not working on the muscle. So you'll see how I did towards the end of the video, but I wanna show you guys some behind the scenes. This is definitely of the two shows I've done. This is by far my favorite. So the first show I was definitely shaking. I was avoiding eye contact with the judges and like looking at my family because they were acting crazy as you guys saw, which is amazing and I love that. It's my love language to be super hype. Um, that's how I receive love and give love. But second show was more focused. I was locked. Well, my light decided to stop working, but my light is still shining, right? Um, so we're gonna continue, like nothing happened. So <laughs> um, the I locked eyes with the judges and probably the highlight of the entire show was nailing it. I was just, I loved the moment. 
honestly, I kind of love the spotlight and um, felt really proud of the work that I put in and I just felt very deserving to be up there. And so I was, I hit a pose and I just locked eyes with one of the judges and she like looked at me and she just smiled and nodded. I was like, yes, that just that moment was amazing. So let's talk a little bit more about the show. I'm gonna show you guys uh, the pre-show things like really I'm just gonna take you guys for the ride so enjoy the behind the scenes and let's get into it it took some looking to find the right room this is Brent looking ridiculous <laughs> doesn't smell like it Wow! And we got a fireplace! This is crazy! Yeah, there's people that are here filming that boy can smell it. Wow. It smells really good in here. <laughs> They're named Pipe I Smoked. <laughs> yeah, how are they going to figure out we didn't smoke if it already smells like weed in here? How do you know what weed smells like? Been around the block. Wow, this, I really did score. I did good, tell me I did good. Tell me I did good. Well, okay, I did well. <laughs> and now we're headed to the grocery store and I kind of go crazy. Now I'm unloading the groceries into the fridge. So we have a fridge, we have a microwave, we have cabinet space for nothing. We have a cooktop and an oven. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's gonna be the best. Now I'll be making some oats. So I have one and a half half cups. It's gonna be confusing. But here I have one and a half, so that's 60 grams of oats. I love oats. Wow, 60 grams is so much. I'm used to only having like 20 or 40. Nice. No. Yes. Okay, and then I need my protein powder. Okay, whenever it fluctuates, it drives me crazy. And protein powder, I need half a scoop. And I know half a scoop, so one scoop is 31 grams, so we're gonna call it 15. 15 grams. Close. Cool, and then add cinnamon and salt and water and enjoy. Oh my goodness. These oats are so good. Mm. And that is the face of pure bliss. Mm. Mm. Good morning. So look at this. Ridiculous. <laughs> Look, I have, so this I put on my hair for the spray tan. I have one more coat to do. Really, Brent has one more coat to do. The hair did a great job, but apparently, whenever I was sleeping, I put my hand here. So, hopefully we'll be able to cover that up. But I'm going, I just woke up, I haven't even washed my face yet, so welcome to <laughs> morning crackly voice me. So I'm going to have breakfast and then uh, get this tan on, uh, start working on this hair, get my makeup done, and then it'll be close to showtime. Actually, side note, I don't know if I wash my face because I can't really wet my hands. Hmm. So breakfast is going to be low fiber and for the last show it worked really well to have my um, chocolate pudding. 
So I'm going to have my chocolate pudding with my Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt, maple syrup, and cocoa powder. It's going to be one cup of yogurt and then uh, one tablespoon-ish. So it's 12 grams of maple syrup and then 12 grams of cocoa powder. Now, they didn't have my favorite Faye yogurt, so I went with this one, but it's just plain. But side note, Faye does have less carbs than this, but I'm not worried about that today. So, just had another coat done. Verdict on face washing, I won't do it. Um, so now it's time to do this hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what I do for my hair is I um, dampen it first and then I put my curl creams, kind of like leave-in conditioner, and then I will touch up these pieces with a wand thanks to Becky at A Wild Hair. Gotta be careful with water not to mess up the tan. So this is not sponsored, but maybe one day it will be. This is the curl cream that I use. And I love it. So I just put a little oh, I'm afraid too much is gonna come out. So I'm going to start with about a good dollop and then massage it through this hair. This really takes the frizz out and defines, defines those curls. Becky, and I know you're proud of me, I protected my hair. I don't mind it, I don't mind it though. You don't like me how you think you do, I like it though. I know I'm fine. Full disclaimer, I don't know what I'm doing, so don't <laughs> learn from me. This is, this worked for me, it turned out great, but uh, no promises for anybody else. <laughs> and I wanted this to look a little bit more natural, so I did change the direction here. So maybe that's a tip. is done and off to makeup. <laughs> the artist is at work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what kind of lashes do you find next? So as soon as I'm done, I'll take care of you. And they didn't care. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're doing such a good job. <laughs> you look great. I love it. Oh my gosh. 
it's almost almost dry on that side. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ashley! <laughs> this is so good. You like it? Yes. I love that we went with more pink. Me too. Like coppery look. Yeah. <laughs> I went with a more peak tone uh, highlight. It's a little bit more chunky, but it's cute. It works with your eyes. Mm -hmm. Work it, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Something about that spray makes you feel fabulous. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look down with your eyes. <laughs> Fabulous. Cute. Yay, Perfect. thank you so much. Thank so here is the look. Oh my gosh. She really did a great job with my makeup. Uh, normally, or I don't know about normally because I've only done this one other time, but uh, before they didn't match my tan to my face, like my face was lighter. So I'm not used to my face being this dark, but she really matched it really well. And the highlight looks really good. Ashley, you said that you made the highlight like slightly pink and I'm seeing it now and I'm really excited about it. So... Ashley did a great job. So I know this looks kind of dorky. So let's talk about what I'm wearing. So we don't want to get the tan off. We don't want to rub it off with the clothes. So I'm wearing loose shorts and I decided to tuck in the front because sometimes the elastic band, because it's a little like rough, can kind of scrape off some of the tan. So we don't want to do that. So uh, that is that situation. The makeup is done. It is currently, let's see, what time is it? Yeah, my background is of me. And it says Michelle's phone because a lot of people pick up my phone like, whose phone is this? It's mine. Um, it is 10.08. And women don't start, amateur women don't start until noon. But our best estimate is that I'll be actually on stage at like 2. So... That means that I will probably want to eat at 11. I'll probably just have uh, one ounce, maybe two ounces of turkey, and then that'll be it until I step on the stage. Um, I might sip on a little bit of maple syrup, but nothing that's going to add a lot of bulk to my belly. So that is the situation. So I'm going to rest, lie down. Um, hopefully not smush my hair too much, but if I do, then I'll have some time to hit it with the wand. So using the wand and then using, oh my gosh, I didn't realize how amazing this is. Becky, you really hooked me up with this protecting spray. It really adds some shine in my hair. It's so nice. So I highly recommend that, um, protecting spray. So I will rest. But of course you girl had to have a photo shoot in the mirror because <laughs> looking fabulous. Actually, before I rest, I'm gonna have a cup of tea. So that sounds really good. So I have peppermint and then the same one as last show, uh, this turmeric chili matcha green tea blend. So I'm gonna heat this up, have a nice hot tea before lying down. So here I'm walking to backstage, and little do I know, I will have a tour guide. Alright, alright, cool. This is great. Oh my gosh. I work at a daycare. Yeah, so a uh, little over a hundred um, different boots and everything here set up. We have grappling, power lifting, strong man, uh, wow. arm wrestling, uh, everything going on. Uh, Zumba competition and classes. Zumba? Uh, Zumba. Competition? Yeah. To become an instructor. Wow. If you want to become an instructor, you can become a Zumba instructor today. That's so cool. Back to the <laughs> oh. 
This is me pumping up, trying to get my shoulders to look a little bit bigger for on stage, and I definitely have my game face on. <laughs> video I feel a little proud that there's a lady who's recording me. I find that so sweet. So right here they asked me to go to the center, which is where they typically put the most competitive girls. So it's it's a big moment. And I'm glowing. And here are probably two of my favorite stage shots. Here I'm, I just look so happy. Get some rest. The fun food will wait just a little longer. Yes, my number is still on my suit. So, after show food, thank you. We have this protein bar and I have the jewel dates with walnuts inside here. So, three dates and like mm, 25 grams of walnuts. With salt. That's what I'm gonna eat afterwards before we come back to the hotel. Just to hold over, but portion controlled so I don't go crazy. Back for round number two. Turn 
turns out the show schedule was running way late, so I had to wait a couple hours before getting back on stage. But the cool thing was we got to watch the pros. Also, side note, I didn't realize how much of a fangirl I am for the pro bikini ladies until this show. And you'll see uh, some clips of that. But oh my goodness, I was just like, whoa, I see these ladies like on Instagram. Now it's like they're right there. It was really cool. Shanae, oh my gosh, she's amazing. So while all this is happening, I am so excited and nervous and excited to get back on stage. So I'm practicing my routine in the back. At this point, pretty much everyone has left and I'm practicing and my ankles are getting tired, but I don't care because I am ready for this moment here. So excited, so happy, oh my gosh. I just love the feeling of being up there. So here they're announcing our placing, and they always just build the anticipation. Fifth, fourth. And here I'm nervous because I think I'm neck and neck with me, and this girl in blue, she was so lean, she looked so good. So at this point I'm like, oh, that's me! Oh my gosh, I'm like giggling to myself. Oh my gosh. Such a good moment. All right, ladies, are ready to get towards the set up for pictures? Oh my gosh, that moment, I love that moment. She was so sweet. But because I got first in my class, I got to stay on stage with all of the other first place ladies. So that's what's going on here. Go, got to share this stage with them. This was an awesome moment. Of course I was excited, but uh, they obviously have much more muscle than me. And actually the girl who won, I think she was five months postpartum. So anything is possible, ladies. Oh, she's breathing tight. She's so excited. Guess who it is? Guess who it is? We'll never guess. Yes! Oh, and there's her baby flying in the corner. <laughs> oh, and I was so happy with my trophy and just all the hard work that went into this. It's recording, right? I'll let you know after. Oh, no. oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've had one of these. It's A. Four hours.
You call the hotel room home? Yes. One of my favorite snacks. <laughs> what a day. Oh my gosh. Finally got done. What time is it? About 11.58. 11.58. Wow. Mmm, it's amazing. What a day. First place on my birthday. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and there I am just hyping the girl up that's taking pictures. But I honestly sound a little bit like Brad. If you haven't seen the movie, maybe Maybe that's a good wow, thing. But these are so cool in the dark. What did you just say? <laughs> like, <laughs> these lights are cool in the dark. <laughs> these lights look cooler with it being dim. <laughs> oh my gosh. What a day. What a magical moment. And then we're going to go home. We're going to have. Or to the hotel. <laughs> home. And um, home is where my food, my next meal lies. I think the thing I want first is sushi. Which honestly it was a mistake. It was not very good. Not very good. The most satisfying thing I ate was the PB&J fold over. I will definitely remember that for next time. Don't let it deceive you. Man, this face is glossy. <laughs> Did you ask them about utensils or any of that stuff? Um, not since we talked to them together. Okay, then they're probably, we're probably not going to have that stuff tomorrow morning. You know? Now I'll have some jalapeno venison sausage with cheese. Ooh, and maybe I'll add some pickled jalapenos, because those are my favorite. And yes, I did get tan on my cheese. Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm almost the same color as the, <laughs> as the sausage. Now I'll boil. Boil two eggs. Water is boiling. Put the eggs in. Leave them for eight minutes for the perfect boiled eggs. And avocado toast. Next up, avocado toast with this boiled egg <laughs> seasoned with protein. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a great orange color. So Brent microwave the cheese and then put jalapenos in there. Mmm! And you're welcome to do one for yourself if you <laughs> Okay. Well, I think... Ah! Okay, good. I think I need that. <laughs> you let me have the first chip? You're so sweet. Mm. It's not very warm at all. That's it's good reason. for me. But That's the reason. The verdict on the cheese. Not, not as good. What? Kroger disappointed. H-E-B would not have done this to us. You picked it. Oh. Do you usually like Blanca? Mm. I haven't had it in a really long time, but I thought I did. 
So excited for this PBJ. Yes, this was the best. This is probably the best thing I've eaten today. This is PBJ. Berries sound fabulous. They're not the best looking berries, but we'll get the job done. <laughs> These are some gray looking raspberries. Kroger did us dirty. HB would never do me like this. <laughs> You didn't know you were here also for an ASMR video, did you? I haven't had this stuff in years. And I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I am so stoked for this. Oh, it's so good. Brent, have you ever put this ready whip stuff straight in your mouth? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I knew you were human. I knew it. I'm getting pretty full, but I'm too curious not to try this edible cookie dough. So how we did it growing up was we just had raw cookie dough, but apparently this is edible. So, I'm gonna try it. I personally think raw cookie dough is better. That's not bad. But raw cookie dough is edible. You just might not be advised to eat it, but... I guess this doesn't have eggs in it, which would make sense. I took the most amazing hot shower and now it's time to put my jammies on and sleep. Good night. Good morning. Oh, oh, maybe they have a skillet. Housekeeping came to save the day for pancakes. Best birthday debut ever. Pancakes by Brent. So we're gonna have chocolate chip pancakes. I mean, you're making chocolate chip pancakes. And you're gonna eat them. Yes. Whether you like them or not. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I will. That batter is very good, so. It's this one. So good. So good. We went on to enjoying pancakes and we also went to a really aesthetic gym. I personally walked on the treadmill because my body said no to working out. My body was exhausted from the show and all of that. Uh, so just walked on the treadmill and honestly that was very challenging. So Brent worked out, it was such a cute gym. I'll put it in the description below. Then we explored Dallas and all of its food and the highest recommendation I will give is where we went to dinner. It was one of the most amazing dinners I have ever had. It was, let's see, it was called 
Bellini's Italian Cafe and Pizza. I'll also put that in the description below. It only has like 400 something reviews, but it was so good, like mismatched art. The food is really good and the prices were great, which is definitely a factor for me. I like a good value. Uh, yeah, it was amazing. And yes, I left a review on Google Maps. So you might see my review there. I gave it five stars, would totally recommend. So that was an amazing dinner and just overall, that was a great conclusion to my 2022 season. So now I'm in the off season or improvement season, which means I'm all about the gains and growing uh, until my next show, which will be in 2023 and maybe around September is my goal. So I'm a little over a year out, so I'm focusing on gaining some more muscle. I'll be transitioning to a, a gym setting now that I did the whole at home thing and I, can, I showed you guys what you're able to accomplish. I am transitioning to a gym setting and I'm so excited. So on to moving to college station on to going back to school what the dream come true um getting my phd in nutrition and heading the wellness program that i'm developing for the uh, college of engineering and their master of engineering and technical management program that is headed by dr zogi who is my co-chair which what an amazing opportunity and my co-chair so the other co-chair the co part of the chair um, is dr johnston and he is helping me so much with understanding evidence-based practices and as it relates to evidence-based nutrition which is uh, going to be my research area which so excited to be working with these two brilliant people i am so blessed uh, if you saw my video talking about me starting school, uh, I cried. I was not expecting to get that emotional. But so on to going back to school, doing the wellness program, research, and living the dream in College Station. I'm so pumped to take you with me. So we're in for an adventure here. I don't know uh, what's going to come of it, but I know that amazing things are happening and uh, you get to be right alongside me, which I'm very grateful for you. Well, give this video a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and Ryan, I hope you're very proud. I'm trying to close this video without you, and I forgot the words that the YouTubers say, but I gave it my attempt. So like, subscribe, let me hear from you guys, and bye for now. Smash, smash the like button. Oh, whatever, y'all know what to do.